Hey guys, very excited to welcome you to another follow along footwork tutorial. Today we are going to work all four corners and it's more about a technical and coordinative workout we are going to do. Everything you need is just your badminton shoes, badminton clothes and uh, for the beginning for a short warm up you're going to need two shuttles and yeah, then you're good to go. Today's focus is mainly technical and also uh, we are going to work on coordinative skills in a very badminton specific way. So you can also do it when you're just starting out, but also a good session for intermediate and advanced players. So enough of the words, grab your shuttles and then ready to go. Okay, so to get started we're going to need our two markers or here I'm using two shuttles and we put them around one meter apart. And now we're going to start with a light warm-up. So we start by just jogging around in the shape of an eight. So let's go. Try to work very light-footed on the front foot. Be as quiet as possible with your steps. And now we're going to change the direction. We go the other way around, always facing the front, never turning around, small easy steps. Going to speed up a little bit. All right, next up we're going to do the same thing but now with sideways movement. So we're going the diagonal with side steps. We're going to the side and the diagonal again. So a bit of a Z, uh, a bit of a Z shape. Try always to stay low once again on the front foot. Quiet again. And the feet always stay apart. They never touch each other. Okay, now we change direction once again. The other way around. Few more seconds. Now we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. Always when you do the diagonal, you try to cross behind with the legs. So once again, we're working with chassis steps or side steps, but the diagonal, we try to pass with the leg that is following the other one. So it looks like this, side steps here, cross behind. Side steps here, cross behind. One cross behind should already be enough to cover the full diagonal. So it should give you some extra room that you cover. Once again, try to stay light footed on the front foot, especially when you're going sideways here. Okay, the other way around, we also try it with the other leg crossing behind. One more round. Okay, very good, very good. So final round of warm up, we're going to make some hop steps here for the diagonal forwards and a little bit more challenging also backwards. So we always hop on the same leg twice. Now we go a little bit more upright. Here we go a little bit down for the side steps and then upright hops. Always twice on the same foot. Go low for moving sideways. Go up for the hops. Try to mix between these two things. So always keep moving. Always fluent from one type of movement to the next one. 
Okay, and we go the other way around. Good. We can put the shuttles away and we can dive into the first corner. We are going to start with the forehand side front court. So for me as a right-handed player, I go to the right side, lefties go the other way. And now in every corner, we are going to do three rounds. First round and second round, I show you two different types of going in and out of the corner. We're doing that for 40 seconds. We got 20 seconds break afterwards. And then in the third round, we're going to mix it up. So try to do always alternating type one and type two. So I'm going to show you type one and type two for the forehand side here. First thing, now you, because I also only have little space, I go a little bit to the left and further back. So I, have, I only need space here. So it will also work at your place if you are very very limited space. So we're always going to start with a split step where we turn into the direction where we want to go and we make a side step, a lunge, side step and then we are back. So this is the first one. The second one, now we try to use the cross behind. We also just did in the diagonals and we want to move back with running steps. So we're going like this, cross behind, lunge, and then we walk back or kind of more like walk back with both legs. So not chassis steps, but cross behind and walking back. Cross behind and walking back. So those are rounds one and two. As I said, we start with the sidestep version and we're going to start in five seconds. Get ready and let's go. Take here, side step back. Okay, twenty seconds break, then. We go into the other way of moving. So cross behind and then walk back or go back left, right, left, right. Get ready and let's go. Cross behind, walking out. Cross behind, walking out. You can pull one leg a little bit forward. So the lunge and the other way, other leg goes a little bit forward now here in the lunge. So you can go easy out of the corner. Few more seconds. Okay, last round. As I said, we try now to always use type one and type two. If there was one level that was already very challenging for you, you can also stick with that, do one more round of that. But I'm going to try to do type one, type two. Always differentiate between the two versions. Okay, let's go. Side step, cross behind and going back. Side step, cross behind and going back. OK, 
Okay, perfect, we are done with the first corner. So now let's move on. And now we go to the backhand front cord. So I'm moving now to the right side. So I need space here in front of me on the left side. And once again, same principle, we do two different ways of going into the corner. First one, very basic. We just do, once again, a starting jump, split step, do a lunge, push back, and then we're ready again. So this is the easy number one solution. Number two, now we try to make a little hop on the left leg. So it depends on how much space you have. Um, if you have a lot of space, you can also do a little bit bigger jump here on the left leg. So it looks like this. And then also here we walk back again. Tuck. We walk back again. So I show you once again before we start. Number one, just split step, lunge, push out. Level two, split step, hop on the left. And we walk back with a little bit smaller steps. Okay, so get ready for round number one. And let's go. Push out of the corner quickly and then slow down a little. Quick start and quick step out of the lunge. In between you can slow down. Five more seconds. And go. Okay. Now the other way. Once again, I show you split step, hop on the left leg, going in, walking back. So really take a break now when you're walking back, slow down and then start again, hop on the left, lunge. Get ready and let's go. Win a little bit of space with that jump. And go fluent in of the corner, into the corner and out of it. Okay, and stop. Once again, we mix it up. Style one, stepping in and stepping out. Style two, Hop on one leg and walking back. Whew. Five more seconds. We get ready and let's go. Once again, feel free. If it's a little bit too complicated, one of those two to focus on it. Or try to mix it up. Few seconds. Okay, good. So front cut finished. We are moving to the rear cord, and once again, we want to use two different rhythms or patterns to go into that corner. And we are going to start once again on the forehand side. Rhythm number one or pattern number one. Now I move a little bit forward, so I have space here. It's just split step and a jump without any turning of the body. So I jump, go in and go out with side steps. So it looks like this, jump, side step, jump, out, side step, jump, side step. Number two, we want to use our cross behind again. So we start, I cross behind, push out of the corner, and then I take a huge step with the, for me as a right handed player, right leg. So it looks like this, cross behind, step out, and I'm back again. Cross behind, step out, I'm back again. 
So here, more like walking out of the corner again. Number one, side steps. Number two, cross behind and walking. So we get ready and we start in five seconds with third corner. Let's go. Try to land and get right out of the corner. Reactive landing. If you have enough space, feel free to grab a racket for the next round so you can also pretend you're hitting a shot here. Or do it with your arm. And stop. Okay, we go to version number two. We cross behind, step out of the corner. Starting to sweat already. Hope you are feeling the same thing. And let's go. Cross behind, step out, start again. Try to quickly step out of the corner and then slow down when you get back towards the middle. So you can adjust the tempo that you can work all 40 seconds. If you're very fit, speed it up a little. Now in the match, we're a little bit more under pressure here. So we take the shot lower. We want to get ready after our shot right again. Okay, good. Now we mix it up. Maybe one thing I forgot to mention, maybe you've seen it now when I do it. When we step in on version number two, try to let the foot point not into the corner like with the normal lunge, but more forwards. So focus on that. And now we mix it up, jump and step. Let's go. Jump, side step, cross behind and step out of it. Last two seconds. Okay. Let's get to the last corner. We are going to focus on round the head corner or backhand corner in the rear court. And now we want to do, we want to do two different things. We start with crossing behind. So this is maybe new to some of you, um, but I think a very good way of covering here if the shuttle comes a little bit more flat. So we are going to cross behind the right foot as a right-handed player and then the left foot goes in and right out. So a little bit like version two on the forehand side, but now here. And try to always stay with your feet on the ground. So I'm not jumping. You have, have a focus on my feet. They're all, the right foot is always standing here when I hit. So I'm not jumping up. This is version number one. And the second round, we are going to use our hop again. Maybe the, if you're more experienced, you already know the technique here. So we're going to hop on the left leg as a right-handed player. Tuck, and we're doing a scissor jump. Be really careful, that takes a little bit more space. So I'm only doing a very small jump here, but try to uh, be relaxed, be a little bit more uh, upright here with the jump and then turn, go out of the corner. When we go out here, we're going to use side steps with the second one. With the first one, I go in and make a big step back. So also here, differentiation, differentiation, difficult word. Okay, get ready. We're starting in five seconds with version number one, cross behind and stepping out. Get ready, let's go. Raise your arm also when you go back. Imagine you want to catch a shuttle very early. You don't want to let it pass you. Ah. 
and once again, quickly out of the corner. Few more seconds. Last one. Okay. And next up, we're going to do the hop, turn, scissor jump, and chassis back. So maybe, as I said, be careful depending on your space. Don't start too fast and let's go. Hop, turn, side step back. Hop, turn, side step back. Hop, turn, side step back. So the left leg here is really leaving the floor for a short moment. In a match, you can maybe also win a lot of room by making a bigger jump, but for us it's more about coordination. Last few seconds. Okay, good. Final round, we try to mix up those two. Maybe the one most challenging thing Totally different patterns, or almost totally different. First time, step, cross behind. Second time, the jump. Get ready, three seconds, and let's go. Cross behind, out, jump, and chassis. Cross behind, out, jump, and chassis. Last few seconds, come on, keep going. Okay, good, we're done. Well done, good workout. Okay, as I promised, I got a little bit sweaty. I hope you got too. And I think it's very important that we have a lot of different variations in terms of footwork on court. These were just two for every corner. There are tons and tons of other possibilities to get in and out of the corner, always depending on the situation, but also depending on how tall you are, for example. So this is totally influ influencing the way you should move on court. So the question now is how much energy you have left. Um, I hope you have enough energy left to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to support me if you're not already following. And then if you are maybe still fresh and want to uh, do a little bit more intense workout, this could be an option for you. Um, otherwise, I hope I see you next time for the next workout or next video. Have a good time. Bye bye. <laughs>